Hello people. I've had a number of videos out there uh, on YouTube uh, portraying myself, what I look like when I first get up in the morning, but I've never really made a video of myself, what I look like just before I go to bed. And I'm very tired right now because I spent about four hours fiddling around with the uh, drivers for this particular web camera, which uh, I don't know. I downloaded uh, some drivers from CNET that said that they were compatible with this particular web camera and they were not. And um, I ran into all sorts of problems with the registry. And uh, if you ever want to get a really good uh, program uh, for uninstalling things that, you know, leave all kinds of nonsense in your registry, um, I r highly recommend Revo. R E V O uninstaller. Not only does it give you that option, but it can take you directly to the registry key where that particular annoying object is that's uh, making it impossible for you to install other, th you know, things or reinstall installations. The, the uh, Revo will, you just say, you just click on the button that says, you know, find a, a registry key and it'll take you right there and you can just take it right out you know this is really a nice thing to have when you have things sitting in your um, add remove programs that were uninstalled but unfortunately parts of them are still there so the uh, add remove program uh, thinks the program is there and it's just one of those annoying you know it's like getting a sliver under your skin sort of thing it's doesn't really hurt it's just it's there it's annoying and you know it's a foreign body that shouldn't be there well Revo is your answer for that for removing all those nasty foreign bodies and uh, thanks to Revo I was able to reinstall the original uh, drivers for this camera and uh, proceed but uh, uh, pardon my sidetracking there and uh, but uh, I want to apologize for putting in a plug for Revo because here's the other thing folks it's free so you know look it up and uh, if you can give the guy a little bit of you know financial uh, 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 support in, in, in his uh, uh, wonderful work and by all means you know do it um, I intend to uh, Revo has actually helped me. Uh, this isn't the first time that it's bailed me out of a situation. So um, there it is, and I fully intend to uh, give that gentleman. Uh, he, you know, that's the thing. You 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 choose what you want to give him if you want to give him anything at all. But the program is free. So uh, there you go. For those of you who are you know know who know what I'm talking about, having these nasties that just are impossible to uninstall and you'd have no idea where the you know registry key is to remove it because you know there it's unidentified um, there you go um, another thing another nasty um, since I'm on tech tech talk with you here uh, your uh, AVG I used to stand by AVG virus uh, scanner uh, it, it was also another free uh, um, service and uh, I had every intention of actually purchasing AVG uh, a virus scanner uh, having used it so many times before and uh, I, I, I was delayed because uh, I had opted for a system mechanic professional and uh, they had a virus scanning program that worked really uh, well uh, that is uh, with XP, but certainly not with Vista. And um, I, I, I was so disappointed that actually I, I stopped using uh, uh, System Mechanic Professional. Um, buyer beware. Uh, system Mechanic Professional is not as good as System Mechanic. Um, maybe, maybe they've improved. Uh, the boys at IOLO, they do a great job. Uh, I do highly recommend System Mechanic, but System Mechanic Pro, uh, no. Uh, the virus scanners are funny things. And I think <clears throat> it's best to leave virus scanners um, as their own independent 
<coughs> thing uh, so that you can change them if you need to and uh, you can uh, still keep your system mechanic apart from your virus scanner and uh, because it, it was a terrible experience and that's too bad because uh, IOLO is another really good group and uh, um, if you can get system mechanic by all means get system mechanic um, but I don't recommend system mechanic professional I do not um, I, uh, I, 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 I let them keep the money because you know at least for the first year but you see I believed in their product so much that I paid for it three years in advance you know and and I yeah I, I demanded a, a refund on the next on, on the next two years because I mean what's the point right but the ten months that uh, <laughs> I left behind they, they they could keep because I had used their product for free to begin with you know and uh, um, I found it to be a very excellent product so do not confuse system mechanic with system mechanic professional by all means if you can get system mechanic buy it it you won't regret owning system mechanic uh, but uh, you will not get my vote of confidence for the professional and essentially the professional all it really has is the uh, the, the virus scanner and a, and, and a couple of more perks um, keep your virus scanner apart from system mechanic and uh, anyway back to AVG I really respected the people at AVG when they first came out with that virus scanner with its uh, its its single incorporated engine that ran everything and didn't eat up all your system resources you know which was a big concern back in the day with uh, fat files uh, not now of course we we have the luxury of NTFS so it's not as much as a concern but it's still a concern and uh, you know I mean there are still system resources and you can run out of them so uh, yeah uh, I was really impressed with uh, AVG until AVG started pulling some of the same uh, hijack tactics uh, that they were supposed to be, you know, defending we the users from. And uh, uh, recently, uh, AVG actually hijacked my browser. I mean, it was just terrible. I, I spent hours on that yesterday as well, trying to uh, remove this hijacking, and. Uh, I'd like you to know if 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 you're if if you've uninstalled AVG, and you have a problem with AVG uh, uh, hijacking your browser, the the you know the search um, on your on your browser, the search window. Listen, I I, I want to save you a whole bunch of trouble. Don't go looking all over for solutions in the internet because I'll tell you right now. AVG will not give you the right solution for removing that. Okay, I've been to their page, I've checked what they say. Don't you believe it? All right, maybe their uh, advice uh, works for uh, Internet Explorer uh, uh, 8, but it certainly doesn't work for uh, Internet Explorer 9, and it does not work for uh, uh, Windows 7 uh, 64 bit operating systems all right so what you need to do here's the thing Windows is a Microsoft product don't go to AVG when AVG is hijacking your browser because that is what those people are doing they're hijacking your browser and I might add also that seven viruses got through AVG their free version uh, to my computer that's when I decided that it's time for another virus scanner uh, I don't recommend AVG at all, uh, which is really sad because I had nothing but praise for it up until uh, now, uh, recently. They're too big. They're slipping. They're, they're, they're getting sloppy. And uh, that's generally the way it goes when uh, good products, good companies, you know, make a name for themselves. They start getting sloppy. AVG is sloppy and it's not a clean uninstall. Uh, this is not the first time that I've had problems with them for uh, bad uninstalls, but now this takes the cake. Now when they start hijacking your browser, you know these people don't care about you. 
all right they care about their money you know it's it's free all right free so they can hijack your browser okay here's what you do go to Microsoft Windows is a Microsoft product okay uh, find Microsoft fix it that's uh, fix it spelled the way it sounds okay Microsoft fixed it fix it will help you reset your browser back to the settings you had originally and it'll kick that nasty AVG hijacker browser hijacker out of your browser so there you go no more plugs for AVG you guys are too fat to care about your customers anymore um, what a shame what a disgrace you know uh, the boys at Iolo never went that way uh, system mechanic has been around since oh my goodness 1998 I believe it was when I first or well, it was 1999 when I started using it but it was 1998 I think when they came out and uh, you know they still respect their client they they're, they're still good people and uh, you know so there's no excuse for this <coughs> system mechanic is really a handy thing to have it's too bad that they can't come up with a virus scanner that uh, is reliable but uh, uh, there you go that's the problem with virus scanners you know? that's why I recommend keep them separate from your other tools uh, don't don't use integrated systems you know just get a good reliable virus scanner um, right now I'm playing around with the vast I'm testing it and uh, it, it seems pretty good um, it does seem to slow down some applications but uh, I'm, I'm testing the free version of a vast and um, uh, yeah it, it, it seems to be working all right so far and I've only used it for a little over a week now so you know I can't really say how good it really is but um, it certainly was good enough to find seven viruses that AVG never found so there you go um, I, I've been having a lot of uh, fun here with uh, computers the past couple of weeks uh, reformatting my wife's hard drive um, giving her a new operating system practically rebuilding her a computer um, burning out a hard drive uh, which I don't understand so now a really nice quiet running Seag Seagate Barracuda uh, uh, 250 megabyte or gigabytes pardon me 250 gig hard drive uh, just went toast I don't know why I can't figure it out you know this is a hot swappable drive and yet I took every precaution I actually turned off the computer I drained the motherboard I, I took all the you know the, the precautions before I booted it back up again and there was the telltale blue smoke emitting from the hard drive and uh, you know hit the switch on the back of the PC and uh, and uh, try to uh, remove it uh, but it was already welded the, the, the plug melted right to the uh, terminals it was real exciting so um, yes uh, there it is uh, uh, a day in the life of Edward King uh, <laughs> uh, never a dull moment here um, you know um, I will be getting back to uh, my videos um, the inversion perversion I was really this whole household this whole family was seriously attacked after those came out and to you uh, two, three neo-feminist misandrists that did not really appreciate my um, uh, renditions on the, uh, uh, in the perversion inversion, well, too bad. You're neo-feminist misandrists and you know who you are. And uh, it's, uh, I think, very cowardly of you to comment uh, on Facebook indirectly uh, about my uh, presentations. Why don't you comment right there on YouTube where the, where the presentation is made uh, you know but uh, that's where you are you know backstabbing and, and men hating uh, misandrists who don't know their own place in the grand scheme of things and uh, likely to become witches so um, anyway uh, until then I, God bless you God bless you all may, may he keep you and thank you for listening to all my problems <laughs> You know, but this is this is tired Ed, and he needs to go to bed. I just uh, thank you for putting up with my rant, and I hope that some of those tips that I gave you uh, with you know home domestic computing here that uh, uh, I hope that you find them useful.
God bless you, and uh, have a great uh, day. I guess it's day now, yes, day.